This is the uh, Industrial Hobbies internal belt drive. I have a, uh, it's set to 0.8 to 1 underdrive. It's a 3600 RPM, three horsepower motor. And it's hooked to a uh, VFD and it's all set up. This is the test run basically before, uh, before I install it. Uh, it just has regular bearings on the large pulley which is just about five inches. The small pulley that's mounted on the motor is four inches. And I got a little uh, reflective piece on the spindle so we can pick up the RPM with the RPM gauge. Right now the VFD is set at 107 hertz. So here it is at uh, 40 hertz, and it's really quite quiet at 40, you can hardly hear anything. And that's 2,300 RPM. It'll produce just about full power at 40 hertz. So this would be a real nice milling speed for all your medium, larger size bits. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a piece of neoprene in here, uh, a little over a sixteenth of an inch, I'm not neoprene, uh, uh, EDPM rubber. And then the four mounting bolts are mounted on rubber, so the entire plate is basically vibration isolated to some degree. I could double up the gaskets, but I don't know if it's really necessary. And then on the underside right here, there's an adjuster to set your tension. You can do that after the unit's assembled because you won't really be able to get to the belt at all. The hub assembly is two pieces. You got a piece of, uh, of uh, high grade steel that I used to make the spindle out of. And then uh, I turned the hub out. I turned the hub and the uh, uh, spindle as an assembly. That's what the marks for. So you put them both together at the same place uh, to try to keep the run out down. Um, run out still turned out, well, at least last check it was, it was five thousandths. I'd like it to be a little lower, but that's what we got, at least this time. And I used a standard QC bushing, which was surprisingly not round uh, cast part. I had to return it on uh, on the lathe to get it. Uh, it had it had a sixteenth of an inch uh, run out on it. It was horrible from the factory. So it's a cast part. They don't finish them out of They used to be steel when I bought them years ago. So maybe uh, somebody else will have a better quality one than those. You won't want to mess with them. And that's it. We're going to put it on today and we'll see how it works.